Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 where we're still in the very fancy boots of V. Um, standing in this very, very dark and creepy uh, alleyway. Uh, after we were basically being punched in the face by a corporate woman called Mildred, I think her name was, Mildred Stout. Um, but we got from her a chip to pay people with. Wow, that music is... Can I, can I, wow, can I turn that down? I'm gonna just turn that down over here. That, that's, that's better, okay. So we got a chip from her that we could use to pay for the flathead bot, but she laced it with a virus. Um, so they can track the people that were actually selling the bot. But we can actually remove the virus from the chip. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do right now. Okay, after a lot of looking, I found what I was looking for. So under journal, there's a shards section. If I go over there, I probably, yeah, the Militech data shards. If I select that, I can crack the security. So now, um, I need the sequence. What the hell is this? Can we get a bit of a tutorial on this? Do I have a timer here or something? No. So the only VD I can see underneath 55 is this. So then I can go 55. Wait, what? And then BD. Okay. Can I can I try that again? Because <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, okay, so your objective is to select characters from the code matrix and the correct sequence in order to upload the desired program to the network. Select the character from the highlighted column row and press X to send it to the buffer. The selected characters appear here to form a sequence. This is the list of demons and the character sequences required to upload each one. I have no idea what all that means. I can start... Wait, if I select 55... I can then go to 1C and then E9. Oh. Oh, okay, so there was those were two actions that I could do. So neutralize malware, removes the malware infecting the shard. And then the second one I can't really read anymore, but that's good, I suppose. So property of Militech unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. Eddie's on the cred ship or queen. Okay, so I've done what I needed to do. Um, I can now turn back and I should probably meet up with Jackie so we can, uh, yeah, check out that flathead bolt. Okay, so apparently Jackie is also waiting in this, uh, in this storm drain right over there. So I'm guessing, yeah, I can climb up here. I don't know if there's mantling in this game. Apparently uh, there is. Okay. There Hi. Ooh, that's a nice motorcycle. Let me hear what you squared away. Well, I'm, I was over here, but ooh, what's what's the blue icon there? Um, so we gotta meet with Maelstrom because those guys have the flat hat bolt. But what's the worst on T-Bug? T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk. She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex, preparing already. They're familiar, you know. Worked together before Dex took his break. Okay, so have you been waiting for us long? Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... Okay, here we go. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Um, well, we'll pay again, but with Militech cred this time, because we have that chip, it's been cleaned up, and we should be able to do that with the Maelstrom guys. Hopefully they buy it. Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's going to shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Yes, onward. Let's go see these bastards. Jesus Christ! All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Okay, can I get, can I get on the back of the... Oh, 
Oh, Are we're you? right next to the door. Never mind. It had to be them. Yes, it Game had like to be them. Other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. They know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. So Milstrom are the guys that have very extensive cybernetic changes. So uh, let's ring the bell. Hi. Hello. Are you guys home? Don't know you. Dum dum. Uh, Dex sent us. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. All right. So we're already talking to a guy called Dum Dum. Ooh. That's two turrets. Probably need to be careful. Cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh yeah. They look damn well prepared. Yeah, lots of turrets and stuff like that. Um, ooh, soldering iron. Have we actually Don't used any I've of this? Seen security like this in a gel factory. Uh, gear from the Jack convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. I just picked up an old can. I don't know why I keep picking up stuff like that, because I don't know if I can use it for anything even. So, hmm, this seems like a very creepy place. There's more documentation down here. Can cyberpsychosis be cured? I should probably read that, because I've heard that term before. Can cyberpsychosis be cured? Opinions on that question are divided. Only a few years ago, so-called brain dance therapy was used across the entire country on a mass scale with the aim of bringing the sick back from the point of no return. The patient would be placed on a special chair and connected to a device that would deactivate all implants. Then electrodes would be attached, inducing the patient into a coma-like brain dance session. This was then followed up by medicine, psychosurgery and the aversion therapy. The overall treatment was intended to sever all the patient's neural connections and tie them back together so that the cyberpsycho could return to society. Once the therapy was concluded, no symptoms of cyberpsychosis were detected, as well as the patient's former personality. But ooh. But don't worry, nowadays all the methods are used. At least that's what they tell us. So cyberpsychosis is probably an illness that occurs when you have too many cybernetic implants, I would think. Ashtray can be really used that, I suppose. Okay. This is intense. That are those lasers? Ah, okay. So that's laser traps. Ooh. I could have hacked that with technical expertise. But apparently I don't have enough technical expertise and then the same cyber psychosis uh article as we just read so ooh, whoa okay hi hi jackie do we need to open up the door here we go going into the or beasts i think jackie called them well they succeeded uh it doesn't seem like there's anybody here uh, except of course for an old can Okay, that was that wasn't very nice. Get in the elevator. Okay, and there's another one over there, and then a camera over there. So the optics are actually doing their work, but on the freight elevator. And there's another article here: the solos manual by Morgan Blackhand. Am I in the elevator? Oh no, that's the elevator. Hi, Jackie. I'm full. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, hi. What do you want? Hi. hi. Um, we're here for the flat. He looks terrible. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch. Planet. Okay, um, I suppose you mean plant my ass in the couch. This is horrifying. These guys are really creepy. And they all seem to be using the same amount of cybernetics. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you too. 
I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. See um, down for a call, planet Call him Jackie. Skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. What the hell is he holding? What's that? Ah, uh, uh, drugs. Take a hit. No. No. I'll pass. Thanks, I'm good. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Whatever you say, straight edge princess. I mean, alcohol is one thing. I don't have no idea what's in there. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT0. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, is Militech gonna come look for it? Militech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck him. I can hop around and try. We we'll removed the serial number and lifted access locks using our soft. Once it's yours, it's yours. Okay, then show it. Need to see it. Open up the box. Show yourself. That fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Ooh. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimp down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? That is very impressive. Um we'll take it. Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Um. Brick got it. Huh. I don't see Hi, Royce. fucking brick around here, do you? Calm down. Um. Okay. Fuck brick. Let's cut a I'm new talking. deal. Fuck brick, Calm down. Let's cut a new deal. Calm down. Because I have the chip, so I might as well use it. Um, let's show him the Militech shards, so yeah. The music's really going for this one. Um, I, I mean, want it or not? You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. That we did. Dexter Deshaun. That's it. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica. <laughs> um, okay, draw weapon. Apparently. Nope. He's alive. I missed one point of bully to actually take him out immediately. Sends his regards. So, can you consider my offer now? I think he will. Take it. So let's pay with the Militech ship. We're gonna try and keep this calm. Here's the cred. Hell, I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred ship was spiked with a virus. There we Don't go. Worry. I wiped it. Aha. So that's gonna give us the benefit here in this situation. I don't know how Militech is gonna respond to that. And that's their netrunner, I suppose. Because this guy is hooked in with a hard line. Yeah, it's clean. Nice. Okay, so they would have found out if we hadn't cleaned it before. So, can I... Oh, I can actually move around now. Can I talk to... Can I move around? That rusty cunt. Now I gotta deal with this shit. Okay, so I need to talk to Dum Dum. Hello. I mean, there's no talk button at the moment, or is there? Dum Dum. You just take the damn bot and get the fuck out of my factory. Ah, okay. Um, take, take. If this is a trick, 
I'm gonna introduce you to our Got meat me. grinder. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. Jesus Christ, this guy is much. Piece of shit. Bye, Royce. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, crap. Um. 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 Let's grab that. Yeah, let's go up. Yeah, let's go up. Because I, I don't really... Oh, hi, Dum Dum. Can I grab? I, I just took out a sword. I should probably grab something bigger. Like the double barrel shotgun, for example. That's gonna... It's finally we're gonna come back into some, uh, some combat. But first up, I need to change some more settings, I think. Okay, that's better. Um... So there's more stuff over here. I don't know what I'm picking up. It seems to be food, but it says, you know, ooh, that's a lot of money, by the way. That's a, that basically doubled up my bank account. Okay, <laughs> glad I checked that. Can I, do I need to, ah, okay, this is starting out great. I'm running from a military company and I'm just fumbling around. Great, there we go. Okay, there's a flying gun here and Something that was trying to lock me off. Uh, climb down. D -d 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 -d. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Can I, can I go here? Disinfectant. Yes, that could be useful sometimes, I suppose. Ooh. I think we're being fired upon. Um, are they firing at me? Well, I'm trying to get out of here. Ooh, what's this? Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Wells. Is there? Let's craft the ammo. Um, let's troll that over there. That went. I don't know where that went. That went bad, I think. There we go. Let's go down. Ooh. So the shotgun isn't really doing much, I feel like. So let's grab that pistol we got last time. Yeah, that seems to work better. Ooh, there's more dudes over there. I think they were over there. Just tossing out grenades like they're piñatas. Got one down. Let's check out... Ooh, he had a stress ball. So let's see, I can actually do stuff here, right? I can actually short circuit this guy. So there we go. And then pants. And then I think there was one more guy down here. Is this the guy that I wanted to shoot? No. Uh, whoa. Jeez, guys, there's a lot of things happening at the same time. So ricochet weapons. Power weapons allow you to control the direction of bullet ricochets if you have ballistic co-processor cyberware and a trajectory... Ooh. Generator mod for Kiroshi optics installed. Cool. Anybody here? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely somebody here. Ooh, and we have all kinds of fancy military weapons from these guys. I think something exploded. There seems to be two more up there. And there's more money over here. Ooh, thermal blade mold for the blades. But these guys seem to be... Wait, where are they? Did that? Was that my gun that put them on? Oh, okay. He just went down. Is that? Because according to the map, there's somebody... Oh. There we go. There we go. I have plenty of pistol ammo left as well. Another stress ball. These guys need to chill out. Huh. There's somebody stuck in here, but I need... Over. Authorization not found. Okay, so there's a door that I can't open. I'm just looting the place while everybody else is getting shot. Which is, I mean, perfectly fine, I think. Because uh, I'll check out later what I'm picking up. Because it feels like I'm picking up weapons and armor and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let's move on and help out the other guys over here by opening up the door. Ooh, more ammo, thank you. Are there more enemies here? 
And I got a grenade. Assign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make use of it during combat. So I think that's a flashback. Ow, Jesus. So there we go. That's another grenade. And there's a lot going on and the frame rate isn't really keeping up here. Okay, that seemed to have killed everything. There we go, that's another one down. And they're actually burning up rather quickly here. Can I grab your ooh, military glasses? What? Oh, was that a grenade? That sounded like a grenade. Okay, this seems to be... Seems to be one more guy up there. Yeah, got him there. And we do seem to be getting experience for kills as well, and experience for handguns as well, so... Whew. The music was pumping during that fight scene. But that seems to be it. Let's grab some more booze and food for on the way. Uh, and I could just use another health pack. I seem to have 50 at the moment, so... Doesn't seem like too much to ask. I could go up there. Okay, so I got up stop, and it seems like another way to go up. And then we can grab up more body armor. Maybe I should just quickly check that out. Because uh, I might be able to protect myself a little bit better against damage. Because this is still a hard difficulty, so it might be problematic otherwise. Okay, so I put on a thermal powered assault rifle, so that's probably burning damage. Then put on some glasses and some military pants. So it's no longer the fancy leather pants that were matching really well with the wolf school jacket, but it is what it is, I suppose. So, assault rifle equipped. That's a cool animation. Uh, now we can open up this door and see what else is down here. It seems pretty dark. I don't think I have a flashlight. Cancel, her. Cancel me. Is, is there anybody here? Because. I don't see anybody just yet. Hello? That's that's a commercial. That sounded like it came from downstairs, so... Should be fine for now. Ah, it's a burst assault rifle. Okay, that seems to be fine. That's the only guy that was still left. At oh, no. There he is. There's another dead guy. Hi, dum-dum. Hi, dum-dum. Um, it's not, not the time to start reading books, so let's just skip that. And then we can go downstairs. And loot some more people from their uh, from their guns. Because we can sell that later on, I suppose. Hygiene bag. You know who you're messing with. I think I might have just picked up a bag of piss. Yeah, that sounds exactly what that was. And this is another EMP grenade. I'm currently using those. Ooh. And blue. Blue. Ah, another thermal mode for the blade. Okay, so let's just move up. Because it doesn't seem like our companions are going to move up on their own accord. If I can grab this. That's the sword. Okay, so I can switch between the last selected item and the one that I'm currently using. Let's grab the extra grenades. There we go. And now we can actually switch over to the pistol. I shoot him in the back. Okay. Oh! One of them followed me. Wait, how does that quick select actually work? <laughs> it doesn't seem like I'm actually getting uh, the correct weapons out here. Other than that, we seem to be doing A-OK. -okay. So, back to the assault rifle. Let's move up. And open up the door here. Ooh, that's a... That's... That's a Mac. I should probably throw an EMP grenade. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, jump down! So that's a Mac. Oh, that's double Max. That's the... That, there's a lot of Max around here. That's a lot of max around here. And it doesn't seem like I can do much. Oh, this doesn't look good. What the hell just happened? Hey, it's just come up. Ooh, 
So that was. Um, but built to say thank you. Wanted to let you know I like your style. Is that? Well, got anything to say? <sighs> what? Wow. Thanks, v. Here you go, fucking what? For saving your sorry tin can ass. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking high? Um, you're fucked. You're fucked. You know that? For now, I'm alive. They're not. Okay, so. Militech's good at nurturing grudges and at killing. As long as you know whose balls to grip, you decide who lives and dies. Wise words. Remember them. Okay, so Royce kind of helped us out as well, because without his big guns, we wouldn't have, wouldn't have probably been able to kill the the max. What is this? What is this? The Defender. A power light machine gun. That sounds very, very good. Full potential unlocked at body six. Okay. There, there's also a way to free Brick, apparently. But Brick was, if I can recall correctly, Brick was Royce's predecessor. I thought he was dead. That he was killed by... Wait a second. Is that still part of this quest? Can I go back and try and open up the cell because that was probably the guy that was locked in the cell but uh everything was so loud and the music was blaring that i i, I just had one direction forwards okay so i think i picked up most of the loot aside from maybe the the ammo over here should probably grab all of that uh let's just meet up with jackie again i should probably can i put i should probably put no no wait it was double tapping right yeah that was putting the gun away hostile area is it still? Got those things buzzing around everywhere. Past the gate. We can talk there. Hold your fire. Um. Open fire. Wait. Hold your fire or open fire. You shot at my people. Uh. Well, you know Gilchrist. Guy? Anthony Gilchrist, still alive, and not hogtied for a change. Have a good memory for. Nate. Wait, this was the guy that Mildred had tied up. Near enough when Militech personnel get shot up. Uh, well, they shot at us first. They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. So because we purified the virus from the chip Mildred couldn't perform her plan so Gilchrist called his chance to go back again I suppose um, so we're all gonna expect the rescue gotta admit didn't expect to see you here you were followed but I'm sure you know that Stout's people were on your tail my people were on theirs in the end she lost her nerve thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back hit the big red button prematurely classic and you don't know what to do. Why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? Apparently not. So what happened to Mildred then? What happened to Stout? She placed some bad bets. Her clock ran out. Simple as that. Suffice to say, you won't be seeing her again. Oh, okay. Um, then, uh, what do you want from us? And you? Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. Well, he was in some very, a uh, very cool mech suit, so, uh, bye, Mr. Gilchrist, I suppose. <laughs> um, Jackie, what's your take on all this? I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Uh, but yeah, we make a good pair, buddy. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Well, that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex, let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Are you luego, V? All right, so that's part two of the heist. Now we got the flathead bolt. The spider bolt. How things looking, Miss v. You should be able to get the the relic. Got the bot. 
And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Miss V. Okay, so everything's ready to roll. What's the next step? We're going off to Yarasaka or what? We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Okay. Be there in no time. So we need to go back to the club. See you, Miss V. Not Lizzie's bar, but the afterlife. Alright, job completed, and we leveled up again, and I apparently missed one level up before. So, uh, let's go to the skill tree now. So, um, we had some bully requirements before, so I think I'm going to put technical ability up by one, just because I saw that for those mines we needed level four to hack those. So I'm going to go with another point in technical ability, and then the other one is going into body, so body up to six. Then I'm wondering, so there are perks for blades and handguns over here and reflexes. So reduces time to aim or increases damage with rifles and submachine guns by 3%. 3%? Seriously? There are actually some really cool perks under blades. So either increased attack speed, increased damage on strong attacks, or combos have a chance to bleed, or increase armor by 15% while moving. That sounds really good, so I'm going to grab that, just to have a little bit more protection. And I think we're going to go back into intelligence here. And um, yeah, because I don't know what I can hack. So automatically highlighting nearby access points seems good. So let's do that. And that's a gold one. I don't know, ah, probably because it's a passive. No, because the other one is also passive. Ah, but it's the last one in the chain. Probably if I go into the second one for advanced data mine, I'll also get a gold icon there. All right, that seems good. We need to get rid of our excess uh, weapons, by the way. I don't know if I can sell that really quickly to anybody, but uh, for now, what's, what's this? Oh, that's a fast travel station. Hmm, interesting. So I can go to wherever I wanna go, uh, and this is the afterlife. I'll probably find somebody near the afterlife anyway to sell my stuff to, so let's go there. Okay, so we're back at afterlife. Seems like we can talk to Jackie over here. And hello, Jackie. About time, Chica. He was on the phone with his mother. How's Mama Wells? Yes. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know. You're gonna see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we go, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doesn't look like it's like all it's bigged up to be. So yeah. I did say we're going back to Afterlife, but it's some place where we haven't been yet. It just sounds really familiar. I don't know Hello. the name probably came up before, but uh, yeah, Corporal Wensley. What? For a club with the hottest contracts in town, it doesn't look like all it's bigged up to be. It's what's inside that counts, Joel. Okay, so ready to get your cherry in. popped? Yeah, come on. Hey, excuse me. I'm assuming that's not what you think it means. Or what I think it means. Because hoping your cherry <laughs> usually means something else. Well, Who would have thunk? it's fitting with I know, right? Way the fact that it's called right, Afterlife. With proper burials, we're still a thing. Wait, they're not a thing anymore? What do they do with bodies now? Hello, everyone. Hello, big man. Emmerich. Um, yeah, name's V, and this is Jackie Wells. Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? Yes, we're on the cover of the it game. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. 
Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves a drink. I do love the detail of, of the fact that his eyes lit up when he was talking to, uh, to Dax. That's... Ooh, this is actually a pretty cool club. Da -da 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 da da I'm hoping this is not copyrighted. Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Looks like we're up. Okay, I'm kind of cut them off there. Didn't mean to. But uh, this place is actually pretty light. That's Rogue. Best fixer in all the Night City. Who, the one in the yellow jacket? Was the best. Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? Ah, hi Claire. Um, um uh, nothing for me. I'm good, thanks. For real? I'm celebrating. Come on, it's on me. Okay, fair enough. She got a madre. Fine, have it your way. A tequila old fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. One Johnny Silverhand coming up. Right on, Chica. Okay. Somebody did their homework. It's like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Okay, so what do we have to do, yeah, to be a regular here? Say I wanted to have a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. So you get a drink named after you or after your dad. That's um yeah, no such thing as living legends. Yes, dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. Gotta live like a legend first though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Yeah, you don't have the credit anymore after that, because you did. There we go. Nice drink. That doesn't oh, seem like anything went out of the drink, Jackie but Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Yep. Just biz, no big deal. Um, is Dex a regular then? Dex a regular? He come here a lot? A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Yeah, well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. Okay, so let's stand, because this guy's uh, like a leg. asking Thanks. for us. Um, oh, wait. And I'd still talk to Claire. No. Claire, thank you for the drink, and goodbye. I'll see, see you later. And the dialogue option is still... Okay, <laughs> there we go. So, follow the bodyguard. Healing closely. They're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. It's dead pinche tipo. Okay, yeah, he's not very talkative, so let's go in. Suppose there's nothing's gonna go wrong here, cause. We haven't even really started the job already. It seems like... Is that supposed to be... Ah, it's a blurred out room. Okay. Hey, and Debug is here as well. Can I... Can I sit down next to... Jackie? in one place. Ah, finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. There we go. Wait, what? Wait, oh, mid Militech suit? Set your butts down comfy. Okay. Uh, set. There we go. Sweet booth. It's soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're going to be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Very well, and I gotta say, I love Dexter's voice. He's so silky smooth, but uh, yeah, pretty well. Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that Robbie D she scrolled. Mm-hmm. 
Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so now we can actually... Something's off about her, yeah. Parker chick? <laughs> I don't know. Sent out mixed signals, so I got mixed feelings. One night, sipping Sean parody with Yorinobu. Next night, chatting it up with regulars at Lizzie's. Worlds don't match up. Struck me too. You saying we putting two and two together and getting five? Some part of the equation's missing then, clearly. It's a very philosophical That's way of putting that. Fix her. Anyone try to fuck you? They first gotta fuck their way through Dex to Sean's 300 pound ass. Anything else? That was apt. That was not an image I wanted in my mind right now. So, um, thanks for that. I suppose Dexter. Parker thinks we don't need you. Um, Miss V. I'm gonna rat her out. I feel like we need to fix it. We need to stay loyal to Dexter. So. There was something else. Parker made me another offer. Another offer. Uh huh. Kind where we ditch the middleman. And Split the pot and even 50-50. What? <clears throat> Ditch the middleman? <laughs> Shit, now that's rich. <laughs> Clients never learn, do they? I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Miss V. You see, trust is essential in any partnership that's to be long lasting and fruitful there we go that's what my uh train of thought was there so thought you'd be pissed off thought you'd be pissed that you'd lose it lived in nc too long to blow my top every time some amateur thinks they can take me for a ride parker ain't the first and sure as hell won't be the last okay so let's go over the job how then. about we go over the plan what you got for us dex this. So that's a suit, because I, I hovered over. Well, this is a suit, because uh, I hovered over that that on, package over there. Sure. So let's take the shard and see what oh. we have information wise. Whoop. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into your Nobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. Okay, so... Is the Delamain a right back as well? Because what's the exit plan here? Transport to Delamain. Primus Cab Company in all night city. Not a mile. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. Okay, so we are going sticky, back with Delamain as well. Safe house. Which is? The No-Tell Motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Alright. Sounds very, very good. Doesn't seem like we're going to be running into any trouble then. Um, how do we get into the penthouse exactly? How do we get in the penthouse? Yarnobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller. Elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Buck solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. 
Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Okay. Anything else? So we first got to take out the Netrunner. Um, and then the cover, yeah, what, what, are, what are our names? Because we saw the names for a minute there, but who's who? These new identities. Tell us more, what's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Hannah Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Okay, so we're there for a meeting with Taki. Nope, no more questions. Right. Feel brought up to speed? Perfect. Because I think we needed that yeah, information. Question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Fresh talent gets 30% always. But I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty, B. More money is very nice, very nice. Uh, sounds about right. That's more like it, Dex. Good team, baby. Who says Last honesty thing, doesn't pay? becky has got a strict no iron policy, security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride, take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part. There we too. go, the suits. Oh, thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops, is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air. You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty. Don't get drunk either. All right, so... Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. Hmm. So any thoughts on the plan? You and Dax don't really need to know that for now. Thanks for helping with the scavs, though. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for your help back at the scav hunt. A few Reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> City Hall should be fucking thanking us. Okay, that's about it, I suppose. So let's wrap this up. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. Slap. I need one of those suits. Those look really, really, really comfy just to stay at home. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's roll. No point in waiting. Uh, I need the suit. What the hell just happened? Did I pass out or... And there we are again. Welcome on board. Oh, we already suited up. With Delamay, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. This is nice. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I've been saving up scratch. Oh, we're yeah. traveling oh, style. Bitch. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Uh, Jackin. There we go. Combat mode enabled, by the way. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Um, what's that? Excelsior. The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. What? Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Oh, don't be Trust so down, Jackie. Don't mold down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Hmm. Combat mode sounds illegal, so uh, yeah, but Dex didn't skimp. Dex ain't skimping, is he? And thanks to you, we're still getting a juicy 40%. Yes. You're welcome. That was, that was really, really nice. Excelsior. Just to be a little bit honest with... This is how you want to well, between criminals. Major leagues. Um, that's so important to you, Jackie? That really your be-all and end-all? Huh? Dex managed to buy you off that cheap? With a suit? A limo? I know, Jack. Kind of feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. 
Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. Okay. Um, but you just need to keep your head in the game. Um, yeah. It does sound like we're going to a party instead of a heist. We're to some party, Jack. We're about to pull a major heist at our Saka. For real, V? You see me as that shallow? Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. We are nearing our destination. Okay, so he really, really thinks this is important. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. That's, that's not Listen, smooth. set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. Okay, so let's call him. Why is that freaking out so much? Got static. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Philosophical. Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Yep, I want more Aristotle. I want more Aristotle. <laughs> Fuck off, Bo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tech that checks was an out, awesome looks one. like. That I may hook you see. Stay in touch. I do love the way the Thank subtitles work. When Jackie speaks Spanish, it shows you the Spanish really quickly, but then translates it automatically into English. Um, yeah, leave the weapon, indeed. There's no other option here. We need to leave the weapon. So this is a no weapons mission. So we're not going to go into combat anymore. So we had that one fight and that's basically it. Which is probably for the best because the frame rate didn't really like that combat section. Let me grab the flathead. This is really nice. Although on the outside, it doesn't look too fancy, the cab. It looks a lot worse on the outside than on the inside. But let's follow Jackie. Um, we're at the Arasaka waterfront, so this is their area, I suppose. Out front, bug. Yeah. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department. Welcome rep. to Compeki. Papers Flathead. are for the flathead. Don't worry, got this. Okay, so we're gonna have to sweet talk our way in here, I suppose. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. Okay, so you let's got it, go Mom. ahead, uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Yeah, of course. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? Uh, we're arms dealers? We are? We are arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, uh, you are here to see Takisan. Yes, Am I right? that was it. Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> no problem. Um, can, can I go now? Stand at the scanner. Okay, here we go. This should only take a moment, ma'am. Ooh, my vision goes woozy woozy. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. They're all gold people. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. Wait, are these real people or bolts? Because I'm confused now. We'd like to check in. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Indeed. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Yep. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of our arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. Um, have I asked you to do that? Have I asked you to do that? Uh, no. I just thought that since... Who asked you to think? Excuse me? I know damn well it wasn't me. Who was it? A word of advice, if I may. Do only what you're told to do. Now, what was that room number? You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Okay, so let's uh, place that over here. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. I feel bad about talking to that woman like that. But that was the corpo answer, so managed to get the job done. Uh, let's follow Jackie up to our room. 
Just purely professional. Trust me, places like this, you're either strong or you're nobody. And we had the experience there, so think, all kind of Anna? makes sense. Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. <laughs> okay. He is uh, taking this very seriously, but I don't think he or V has gone to Zurich. Pretty sure they haven't. There's a drum set over there, apparently. That bar don't look too shabby. Yeah, indeed, it looks pretty nice. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Hi. After reservations weekday, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Um, room. Let's go. You will, I'm sure. Let's go check out our digs. Yeah, we're gonna have to focus on the job here. We're not here to party or look around. We're just here to do one job and then get out. So let's focus on that. Even the elevator is very, very nice. Are those? Is that a picture or is that an actual rock wall? <laughs> How do I look? Um, like a solo cosplaying a suit. Can't believe I'm saying this, but not bad at all. Yeah, I look good in everything. I just feel weird. Suited up again. Right. Now you can kick the rat out of the corp, but you'll never kick the corp out of the rat. That was maybe too loud, Jackie. I don't know if these guys were actually paying attention to that, but pretty weird sentence to uh, speak out loud in a place like this. But indeed, we're back in the corpo lifestyle. See, again, we have translations. Okay. Here we are. Yeah. I would expect it to be more blue for the Lapis Lazuli room. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for Snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Oh. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Okay, so is the flathead ready? Flathead prepped to go. Almost there, Chica. Okay, so before we're going into this heist, I'm going to take a little break because I don't want to make this episode too long. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got the flathead from the Maelstrom guys and uh, managed to actually work out a pretty nice deal with Royce there. Uh, and even got out unscathed with Militech. So, everything seems to be going all right. We're doing pretty well. So, hopefully, next time when we're doing the heist... Look for the shaft. Yes, Jackie. Next time when we're doing the heist, everything goes just as smoothly, but I'm gonna suppose it won't be. But thank you guys enormously for watching, and see you in the next episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Stay nutty, everyone. Yeah, bye.